Tonight, a potential turning point in the fight against COVID-19 in the form of a new treatment. The nation's top infectious doctor says there's clear evidence that a drug called remdesivir can boost chances of recovery. And doctors at UC Davis are also seeing success. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Sacramento with this possible breakthrough. Anna. Hey guys, doctors are calling remdesivir promising, but these are just preliminary results. The drug is by no means a cure, but it could give a chance to someone who's struggling to survive coronavirus. A breakthrough that sparks hope. Studies find the experimental drug remdesivir can improve your chances of beating coronavirus. It's not a slam dunk yet, but it's incremental progress. UC Davis infectious disease expert Dr. Dean Bloomberg says remdesivir did not actually do what researchers hoped it would, reduce the concentration of the virus inside a person. But what was found was that if you treat them earlier in the illness, they get better faster. And so that's, that's promising. Remdesivir was originally designed to treat Ebola, but that didn't work out so well. So now doctors are repurposing it, hoping that its antiviral capabilities can help us now. It's not an FDA approved medication, but it's available for treatment for patients who are sick, who are in the hospital. UC Davis performed its own clinical study using remdesivir on 53 COVID-19 patients. Almost 70% had improved oxygen levels after 18 days. Nearly half were discharged and sent home. Success like this is gaining attention from the nation's top infectious disease doctor. The data shows that remdesivir has a clear-cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. Gilead Sciences, the company that manufactures remdesivir, says they have 1.5 million individual doses available. That amount is enough to treat about 140,000 people. Meantime, Dr. Bloomberg says while early success with the drug is a good sign, more research and larger studies are needed. This is not a drug that's going to be for everyday use. Yeah, and the company who makes remdesivir also wants to remind people that it is not approved by the government and it may never be approved by the government. But there are dozens of other vaccines being developed right now all over the world. Yeah, approved or not, Anna, pretty encouraging news. Thank you. Live from Sacramento tonight.